Yes, now bless now people. Des at King of the Pit TV signing in live and large. We're listening to ACDC today. We're listening to the record high voltage from start to finish, okay? Um, I'm somewhat familiar with ACDC, although not to a degree where I can separate the two front men they've had or, you know, really delve into the background of the band's sound and the spectrum of what they conjured during their time as a band uh, if they are still a band or not. I don't know. I know a couple of members have passed at this point, a couple of very important members, so who knows. So this one is entitled It's a Long Way to the Top if you want to rock and roll. Uh, hold on tight because I am listening to the full record. I'll just give you some insight. Uh, I'm very familiar with this song. I already have some um, opinions regarding it, so feel free to hold on. Uh, to have a listen to them. I will listen to it with a little more depth than I normally do. Uh, but, you know, I used to like this song quite a lot. Uh, one moment, let me see if I can stop the uh, light from bothering me there. I don't know how I do that, people. Is there a disturbance of some sort? Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, this is on my rock and roll playlist, uh, what I used to listen to on a regular basis when I used to perform a little more often and enjoy a few more beers than I do nowadays. So let's get straight into it, people. High voltage to full record from start to finish. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. There's a great power and a great kick with the guitar, even though it's not necessarily super distorted, it's more of just like a, a very crispy overdrive to it. Uh, production value does it wonders, but I'm more than certain they pulled it off live as well, really good. <laughs> brilliant how when the chorus comes in all they need is just an extended chord progression boom 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 they don't need to uh, fluff it up with anything more but just get a quality nice chorus great melody that's all they need and the chord progression just paints the picture beneath that it's not based on the riff or the musicianship or the craft they keep it nice and simple and basic and that's really cool um, lyrically speaking, conceptually speaking, uh, it's really cool to, if you're a musician or you just have dreams or if you just think it's badass, like the whole rock and roll sort of thing, uh, it's cool to sort of live through the eyes of ACDC in this particular tune, uh, to listen about, you know, how it's not all what it's um, made up to be and listen to their sort of um, story of the opposite side, the dark side of the touring and being sort of owned by the label. And, uh, you know, the heaps of work and, you know, problems and trial they have to go through to be these rock stars that we know of. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Okay, so this bit is something I did want to comment on. Uh, people like in the comments and whatnot will like this bit. Not in the comments in this video, but on the actual ACDC video. Because um, it is very unique to have the bagpipes playing uh, like a leading melody in a song such as this. It's very uh, 
different to have the bagpipes regardless of like a rock and roll track but me personally um, especially when it gets into the later end of the track where you'll hear the bagpipes come back in um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this light off people because it seems to be doing um, uh, the video quality some some bad hopefully, hopefully it will stop it if you got any if there's any technicians watching this let me know what's disturbing my camera and producing that effect um, but yeah what I'm saying is uh, it becomes quite annoying to me, like the high frequency of it, later on uh, in this tune. Because I've got quite sensitive ears and uh, the, the way they sort of produce these bagpipes to just blast your head off uh, is, is quite, like literally quite painful for me. I can't listen to it, uh, but we'll get to that point. But here's the introduction of it. This bit's called a call and response with the guitar and the bagpipe. And you got the rhythm guitar. Dun, 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 dun. And the drum is accenting that each and every beat. Dun, 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 which really nice, really hits you hard. So prior to this, I was doing the listen through to uh, Green Day's Dookie album, and uh, they were going for the well structured, uh, catchy songs, <clears throat> but they were still finding their footing. Uh, they didn't have the chorus value that I find in this. Now, we're listening to the whole album, so I'm sure they're not all as powerful as this, but from what I'm aware, with ACDC's leading tracks, their chorus sections are so perfect, so catchy, so massive really emphasise on the title of the track. This really is Hook 101, man. Really good. <laughs> I want to put some respect on the title of this tune as well. It's a wrong way. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. It's a fantastic title, very unique, very original, very lyrical, and it doesn't necessarily just apply to people in bands. Like if you're a business individual, if you have some sort of dream and ambition, uh, if you're creative, you you know how much it's gonna take, and you need to invest your entire life within this endeavor it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll absolutely fantastic very approachable and relatable <laughs> This is the exact moment I was speaking of with that high frequency of the bagpipe. I don't like this.
bassist is really jamming out. Cool. That's the first track of High Voltage. We've got 10 tunes to do. Or maybe it's nine. Uh, I think the playlist have got somewhat wrong. Um, we've got Rock and Roll Singer next. Potentially following on the theme of what we've just heard as far as the rock and roll band aspect goes. There's King of the Pit TV signing in. We're listening to High Voltage from start to finish. This one's entitled Rock and Roll Singer. I don't think I've heard this one before. So let's go. Sounds a little bit like the chord progression and also the rhythm of, um, is it called Get Your Rocks Off by Primal Scream? Get your rocks off, get your da 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 da. It sounds a little bit like that. But yeah, we're, this is ACDC 101, them driving drums just. You got Angus on the guitar, lead guitar quality, a little bit of a bluesy element. I was going to go as far as saying a little bit of a bluesy rhythm purely as the chord progressions, plain and simple. I think we've got three chords in the mix and that's about it. Perfect circle with the riff. <laughs> So I said this in the song just prior to this. ACDC are really cool at making you feel like you're the rock star. Like, we got him speaking his own story here, but for people who are into ACDC and into music like this, maybe they have grown their hair out a little bit once or twice, or still at the moment of listening to that, they can relate to that. My daddy was working nine to five, all right? He was a normal working man, working class, getting his hands dirty. Coming back from work, seeing my mum. But I knew what I wanted to be whilst I was young. I wanted to be a rock and roll singer. I'm sure a lot of people have had that dream, and even not, you listen to this and you feel you feel like you're that rock and roll singer. This is r real cool value to the lyric. <laughs> Here we go. 
We have three guitar solos in this song so far. We've got the bridge section, we had an intro, and a uh, turnaround after the first chorus. Three guitar solos. <laughs> Egg shaker in the background. There. Well, you can stick your nine to five living in your collar and your tie. You can stick your moral standards because it's all a dirty lie. We didn't finish on the final chord there. Right, that that was good. That was good. Um, that bridge section, you can stick this and that, teaching all kids in school and blah de blah. A little bit of punk rock in there, a little bit of teenage rebellion. You know, I bet this band influenced so many uh, young kids to pick up the guitar, pick up some drums, become a rock and roll singer. I'd go as far as saying picking up the bass guitar, but I think all of the I think anyone into ACDC is probably going to pick up the sixth string before the uh, fourth string. So let's go. Des at King of the Pit TV signing in. We're listening to ACDC's High Voltage from start to finish. This one's entitled The Jack. I've not heard this one before. Let's go. Little bluesy number, maybe. songs in and you can start to form an idea that really good storytelling is happening within this band you're listening in to hear what's going on or what's coming next it keeps you listening through verse to verse because the story develops there's a bit more depth into it than just you know rhyming for rhyming sake and so on and so forth which is actually something i personally need to pick up on really good storytelling
Ninja. Were all the members of ACDC into the blues or was the blues element brought forward from one or two particular members? I know that the whole rock and roll thing is an evolution of the blues sound, but this really is quite rootsy. What's going on there? Who's influencing the blues? Who wants ACDC to be a blues band? Let me know. Poker Street was a game. I mean, is it Angus Young on guitars, yeah? He definitely can play a nice little blues solo. He definitely spent enough time developing a little bit of lead in that department because it's very tasty. Some great vibrato on his playing. If she knew she could get ya. Good phrasing as well. She played him fast. And she played him hard. She could close her eyes. And feel every card. There's a good use of dynamics in this song. I, I don't think, it, it's not my favourite one. Um, even as a blues tune goes, I don't know, the chorus doesn't really sell it to me. You know, she's got the jack repeated over and over. Uh, it doesn't have that melodic value that the past two choruses have had. Jack! She's got the jack! She's got the jack! People, I think this is quite boring. I think this is quite a boring one. Um, I am a f I am a fan of the blues, uh, so to throw a blues tune in with the rock and roll isn't a problem to me. But I just think the repetition of it just drags a little. I wouldn't want to see this one live personally, unless you know what I mean. Angus throws in like an extended two-hour blues guitar solo. Other than that, I just won't be too fussed about it. That's, that's a nice outro. I like the outro there. I've never heard out like that before, especially with the crowd booing. That's really good. I like that outro. We've got Livewire next. All right. Uh, they're in for competition if this is anywhere close to how good the Motley Crew Livewire is. Because, man, that's what I associate Livewire with. I think um, Martha Reed and the Vandellas did a tune called Livewire too, but Motley Crew, in, so far, has done the best Livewire for me.
Des, King of the Pit TV, signing in. I've got a fly buzzing around my head. We're listening to ACDC's High Voltage from start to finish. This is track four. This one is entitled Live Wire. A narco punk intro. Oh, come on. Classic, classic hard prog there. ACDC make driving music. You don't know where you're going, you're just driving. This is alcohol drinking music, dude. I wish I had some body on me right now. This is a banger. ACDC makes songs for when it's you against the world, man. But you got your chest out and you don't care. It's badass music. Dynamically, this has been a very reserved song for what it could be. It could be a real kick in the face powerhouse song, but it feels as if it's just holding back, holding back, and this tension is just consistent throughout the tune. It's just like a, a box of explosives that just wants to explode. And speaking of such, we do have TNT next, which may represent that explosion. This is a good tune. <laughs> Three chords tried and tested, ACDC don't need no more. That 
No, just ringing. That's not feedback, is it? World's longest sustain. Cheeky little fade out. All right, cool, cool. We got TNT next. As far as what I've got to say for that tune, I've said it already. Really like the build-ups, really like the intro. The chord progression is classic. Guitar really. It feels um, silly even commenting on the chord progression because it's three open chords, you know what I mean? But ACDC just time it well, make it sound so much more massive than it could sound. Uh, this one's TNT, right? There's King of the Pit TV signing in live and large. We're listening to High Voltage, so that's finished. This one's entitled TNT, 68 million views. Um, alongside, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. I have heard this one. It's been a long while since I've heard this. Last time I heard this was near about in high school, later years of high school. Um, it was a bit of a meme between me and my mates. It was a quality tune. Uh, back in the Lime Wire days. If you know about Lime Wire, leave a comment. Leave some Lime Wire stories down below, please. Great times. Uh, this one's TNT. Let's have a close listen to it. I mean, the way it just comes in with the power, the concentrated emphasis on one chord, you know you're in for a treat. Dynamic. guitar riff is really what what brings you in in it it sounds so simple but it's played so well and precisely if you listen to the for any guitarists out there there's a little borderline mutes on the string that's played which just adds such a heavy rhythmic emphasis to the riff and creates it so much, it just creates such a heavier groove than if it was just the chords played, but they're almost non-existing within the grand scheme of things. Um, perhaps they're considered ghost notes. I would call it a ghost note. Mm. Do you hear that? Like, da -da -da -da.
the band has got a great way of timing everything. So when one instrument pulls out, it really emphasizes the instruments that are still in. Now, how they choose to highlight the instrument or create scarcity during them moments, the timings they do it is just so important and lead to incredible emphasis on the choruses. Uh, at the start of this song, we had a build up, um, consistently building in such a simple but fantastically structured manner to the first verse. So, ba-dum, bum, came in with the guitar, then you had oi, oi, which started to elevate as more voices got involved with the oi, the volume starts to ramp. You might have, as we have now, just a kick drum, which then turns into a kick drum and a snare. And it's really good. And the bass guitar is holding the pulse right. Dun, 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 dun. So lock up your daughter, lock up your wife, lock up your back door, run for your life. The man is back in town. So don't you mess around. Because I'm TNT, I'm Dino. solo one thing I picked up when I very very first started um, playing guitar as far as lead guitar goes um, Angus Young is one like with Slash one of the poster boys for the pentatonic uh, guitar solos <laughs> Or oh, potentially, you know, does does Angus Young throw the blues note in every once in a while? I assume so, but I don't know. I don't know. One thing with the eyes as well, I don't know if it was considered during the writing process, but it's such an incredible utilisation of potential crowd participation in the song. When I hear things like this, you can only imagine the crowd singing along, oi, oi, and it doesn't necessarily even have to be provoked by the band, because it's part of the song, you know? Oi, oi, TNT, oi. Realistically, they couldn't avoid not performing a big explosion at the end, but it's really cool, really cool to hear. You know, it's glad that they didn't miss up on that opportunity to make a big racket at the end. Always the most fun in the studio when you can experiment a bit and sort of leave, uh, you know, the standard sort of tightness behind. Right, we've got a new tune. I've not, not heard this one before. There's King of the Pit TV signing in. We're listening to High Voltage from start to finish. This one's entitled Can I Sit Next to You Girl? Let's go.
okay, right. I'm in two minds at the moment. I'm in two minds because this is a powerhouse of a tune. I don't like that too much. I don't like that too much. I don't like that too much. But 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 other than that, I was vibing my tits off. Man. Second blues song we've had in so far. I think it was necessary that they at least had another blues track just so the other one wasn't like so peculiar. Um, in the grand scheme though, am I wrong in saying this could potentially be a filler song? Could it be a filler? Cause I don't know. I think the chorus is a bit underwhelming. And just say lick your ear. Can I sit next to you? Lick your ear. Can I sit next to you, girl? Can I sit next to you, girl? Come out! Can I sit next to you, girl? 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 Can I That was good. Um, well, I say it was good. I'd say 80% of it was good. The rest is taste. That 20% is just removed because of my personal taste. I don't like that. I didn't like that riff where it went off. The da -da 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 I just found it. It just went too off of the track of what I was enjoying. Uh, so that was my opinion. I'd remove this track from the record and replace it with something else. So I'll just leave it off personally. Uh, we got Little Lover next. Haters are gonna hate people, you know how it goes. For anyone who's not in the UK, uh, if you're influenced by this advertisement, I wouldn't recommend watching Made in Chelsea. It's a lot of crap. Right, cool. Especially especially if you're into ACDC. There's King of the Pit TV signing in. Almost forgot the name of my channel there. We're coming to the end of high voltage slowly but surely. We've got a tune, Little Lover. Let's get on with it. Okay, back to the blues.
groupie an für mich. Name of the song, like the called Little Lover. I wouldn't write like a sexual song about someone who's been described as little, personally. <laughs> uh, obviously, it's not what's intended, but Little Lover, it's a bit noncy, don't you think? Really good at the hammering on and the tapping bits. Obviously not the Eddie Van Halen style tapping, but the one-handed, because he did um, Thunderstruck just with one hand, right? Or it was possible for him to do Thunderstruck with just one hand. Seems to be quite a, you know, not, not, not a textbook or trademark of Angus Young, but that's definitely one of his powerful tools in his arsenal, which sort of puts him uh, above and beyond other guitarists, at least in the lead department. <laughs> This is a groupy anthem, definitely. I like this. I like it's sending a little bit of love to, to the admirers. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you, you'd verge on being um, abusive in a manner, or you could be deemed like through the lens of being like potentially abusive in this day and age for doing something like this. Not that you should do, because. You know, in my personal opinion, you know what I mean? It's rock and roll, sex, drugs and rock and roll. And if it's a consenting adult, why not? But very overtly saying, you admire me. I'm in a position of power. I'm going to say hello after the show. You know what I mean? Stalker 101 rarely does. She got photos and all sorts. And he's giving her that, <laughs> that momentum. Little lover. Little lover, yeah. Legal little lover. Next to Gary Glitter. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't have that. I can't have that. Next to Gary Glitter. Right, so she's a little lover and this photo's next to Gary Glitter. Yeah. Am I missing something?
we're going. Where we're going. Tasty liquor. Got two lead guitars ringing off. It's not even a lead, one of them's rhythm, but doing the whole Hendrix rhythm leads thing. Fading out. All right, cool, cool. That was Little Lover. I won't listen to that one again, but it's one for the blues heads. We've got She's Got Balls next. <laughs> Hopefully We're something uh, mildly controversial. Hopefully. So I'm enjoying my little run through. I do prefer the rock to the blues. Um, although, you know, when you come, I, I guess I guess it's uh, just how the band does it. Because when it comes to like Led Zeppelin, I prefer the blues to the rock side of things. Regardless. There's that King of the Pit TV signing in. This one's entitled She's Got Balls. I hope I'm in for a treat with this one. Let's go. Come on. Rock and roll number. been silent for a moment I don't have too much to comment on uh, I like the emphasis of the title when the backing vocals come in on the chorus 
and I've spoken about the use of dynamics with this band when it kicked out and it was just the bass guitar just driving along then really nice. It's nothing new. Decent. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I won't listen to it again. You know, um, initially I started going into these songs saying, ah, is that a bit of filler? Ah, I don't really like this in comparison. Do you know what I'm doing? I think I'm comparing and contrasting the real powerhouse ACDC songs to the general level of standard this band had. The level of standard is brilliant, but I mean, them driving rock and roll tunes are uh, really incomparable to a song such as this or Little Lover or you know The Jack or so forth um, it's a long way to the top rock and roll singer and TNT are absolutely mind blowing tunes to me uh, but we've got one tune left which is the title tune it's entitled High Voltage it's got a music video I'm going to pause for one moment and come back to you because I'm not going to put the music video on because it tends to be a little bit of a pain as far as copyright goes um, this, this stuff doesn't get monetized anyway but you know, it can actually block me from putting it out. So I'm going to catch you in one moment and we've got the last tune, High Voltage, coming up. Peace. Yes, now bless. Now we're finishing off the record, High Voltage. We've listened to it from start to finish. Uh, this last one is the self-titled. It's entitled High Voltage. You know what? I don't think this is going to be a bluesy number. I reckon this is going to be a... a I reckon there's going to be some riffs. Let's get to it. <laughs> Backing vocals are like some I heard off of the Who's record. Little shaker there.
That symbol there sounds massive. What's that? Is that a, it sounds like a China. Top comment is makes me want to race across America on horseback whilst looking for Jesus. Is that is that a pro Christian uh, comment or is that just like funny because it's random? What do you think? Outro guitar solo to polish off. Yeah, quality, high voltage. That was a decent tune. Yeah, that was decent. Have you seen this um, recommended playlist here? Six, six, six percent pure metal playlist. I didn't even know Lemmy had a solo career. Is that a solo record by Lemmy? Right. I seen in the related videos two Fleetwood Mac. Does anybody want me to check out some Fleetwood Mac? I've never really done so. I might put rumors on because uh, that's one record I need to listen and I haven't done. Uh, but that was ACDC. Uh, I am going to listen to more ACDC records to see where they went from here. Um, overall, the records, uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to listen to it again. I think this band, from what I have experienced so far, is like a singles band. Like Their singles are really heavy, high-hitting. But some of their tunes, although they're structured right, although they've got the power behind them as far as the, the craft goes, um, sometimes they miss uh, for me. Uh, but anyway... I'm not even going to be a hater, you know what I mean? I enjoyed it. ACDC makes me want to be a rock and roll star. And I'm sure they do for so many millions of people and have done for so many millions of people around the world, uh, which is truly incredible. I'm signing out. So until next time, people, that's Des at King of the Pit TV. One look.